Summer is not about who's got the skinniest body. It is all right for you to repeat that top. It is all right for you to repeat that dress. Declutter your wardrobe to refresh it. So this is absolutely perfect for the summer. I'll definitely advise this. It's very good if you've got oily skin. Two together. hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today and um, if you are new here my name is marcel and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support and your patience as well i know you guys haven't seen me for like two weeks guys you know my birthday passed and then there was another week i had to do I had lots of things to do i didn't get the chance to film i know this is not the consistency i've been promising you guys so please i want to apologize to you please bear with me guys youtube is not a joke especially if you've got a nine to five your mom your wife you know you're doing all the stuff on the side as well as well as you know creating good content it's not easy guys you know what i cannot even be like i'm too happy because it's summer it's like one of my favorite seasons of the year after christmas obviously summer is here guys and summer is a time for us to be happy to live our best life for us to glow into this beautiful flower and basically be our radiant selves you know summer is very short especially if you live in europe or in america or you know in abroad summer is very short so you definitely want it to count because the minute you close your eyes and open it summer is gone and you have to wait for summer 2024 which seems so far away so we definitely want to make this summer count you definitely want to live your best life create good memories this summer so i want to share with you guys my ultimate ultimate guide to summer that will make you glow this summer so i will be talking about everything from like body care skin care fashion beauty perfume fragrances you know house house decoration hair aesthetics so basically everything you want to achieve this summer so the first thing you want to do is create a mood board i've created one i'll put that on the screen for you guys to see just to give you an idea um create a mood board of the things that you want to achieve this summer how do you want your aesthetics to be like this summer so put everything in your mood board so that you look at it you know it reminds you every day of what you need to do or what you need to wear or how you you have to carry yourself around and things that you need to do basically to achieve whatever you want to achieve so the first thing we're gonna go into is fashion before i actually dive into this fashion i want to just say a quick disclaimer guys summer is not about who's got the skinniest body or who's thinner you have to wear what makes you happy and especially comfortable in your own skin another disclaimer is that it is all right for you to repeat that top it is all right for you to repeat that dress if you want to wear that white top with a blue skirt do that if to, if tomorrow you want to wear that same white top with a jeans please do that okay do not feel or blush like wear new outfits all the time okay you don't want to break the bank and also do not care about what people think the first thing you want to do when it comes to fashion for your summer this year you want to refresh your wardrobe and for you to be able to refresh your wardrobe you need to take out all the clothes that you will not be wearing for this short period of time so i'm talking about all the heavy clothes the winter clothes you know you want to take them you, you want to take them out i'll actually be doing mine this weekend honestly i want to take out all my winter clothes and put them in bags and either store them in my garage or store them somewhere else in my house you know things that i would definitely be using again for the next winter there's no point for you cramping your house with stuff that you will not need so if you want to give that away give that away if there's anything that you still be wearing to store them somewhere so you want to refresh your wardrobe take out all the heavy clothes the winter clothes to make space for all your lovely summer outfits you want your wardrobe to be bright you want it to be alive you want it to look beautiful and when i talk about refreshing your wardrobe my quick tip is go going for a capsule wardrobe for example remember that summer is a season where less is more so dresses shorts skirts you know trousers 
slippers sanders you don't have to over complicate you can wear a really beautiful dress with a handbag and you wear some slippers and you're good to go so what i mean by capsule wardrobe is basically you can buy several different color tops several different color shirts or trousers and um, skirts you know and shorts and dresses and basically put them together make sure that they are colors that will intermatch with each other you know where you'll be switching the tops and the bottoms also get accessories i feel like summer you have to get you have to nail it on the accessories okay get a few cute bags my go-to 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 is definitely jw pay i've actually got one here i'll show you guys so i've got the pink one and i've got a, a green one as well so this is absolutely perfect for the summer uh, yeah so make sure that your accessories are also on point remember to wear colors that complement your skin tone embrace your features and wear things that complement those features on your body my next tip will be you know decorating your space your house it is summer i love going into a house during the summer and the house feels cool and fresh so the first thing you want to do is obviously declutter as well your living room things that are not supposed to be there things that just make it look cramped you want to declutter it okay you want natural light to come into your house guys look at this i'm filming right now my ring light is not on i am basically using my light light from the outside that is shining into my living room you want natural light to come into your living room the other thing i'll also recommend going for is basically going for like plants i'll advise i actually want to do this myself is buying a real plant or one or two you know one in the living room and maybe one in my bedroom it makes your 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 space look fresh and it makes your space feel cool as well so i know plants breathe through you know the pores on their leaves and that will help with like pollution of the air that we breathe so you definitely want to have like a plant a real one that you'll be watering every day it just brings your your space a different vibe it connects you with nature and just gives your house that summer vibe as well i'll definitely advise going for candles things like candles and flowers you know they are very refreshing and also a good sense of relaxation you can also switch one of your paintings in your home to go for more of a summer painting for example something that captures the real essence of summer if you want to have like natural light coming into your room i would definitely advise you ditching or switching up the blackout curtains for like maybe sheer or light curtains that will you know transport the light from outside into your home you want to also ventilate your home you want it to feel very airy and cool and fresh you want someone to come into your home and basically don't want to leave all right in a good way <laughs> right the next thing we're going to talk about is hair you definitely want your hair to be on point this summer as well so i've put together a few pieces that i want to go for this summer i definitely want to try the bonito waterfall locks okay i haven't seen it everywhere in america but i i haven't come across someone that does it in the uk yet i live in manchester I don't know if anyone does in Manchester, guys. So if you know anyone, please give me a shout. I want to have, I want to do my bonita locks. You know, the, the really cute ones. There's this girl in America that really does it the way I really, really want it. I really hope that someone can. And the next thing I will, I will definitely go for is obviously not less braids. That's inevitable. Like we must have our braids always. I have braids most times, even during this winter why not having it in the summer as well like and then i definitely want to go for some wigs usually i'm the soft person to leave my hair out i like wearing my natural hair with tapings but the last time i've had tapings on my hair it ruined my hair i would have gone for tapings again this summer that was actually my best option but because i'm still recovering from the damage from the last tapings i did i'm like i'm gonna leave tapings for now and just stick to wigs and braids you know i'm also not very much like a wig person if you guys have noticed it's probably one of the few times you've seen me with a wig on this channel and um, i want to get more into wigs you know but the main reason why i wasn't really a wig person was because i didn't know how 
how to install them and the amount of money that you get charged these days is ridiculous to install wigs so i also like freedom i like taking it out you know before i go to bed and hang them and or whatever i don't like going to bed with my wigs these past two weeks weeks have been my go-to okay i've had my head braided you know i want my hair to grow a little bit i want to give you a little bit of a break so that's why i'm wearing wigs so i've also got like a short bob wig on my wish list as well this summer i'm definitely gonna get that that's that's gonna be one of my looks this summer so let's talk body care if you want an absolute glowy and healthy skin this summer i'll advise you using butters or oil on your body so that way your body is very moisturized you you don't miss out any part of your body so i use shea butter and i use the american dream um cocoa butter as well so that literally helps me to make my body smooth and silky i basically touch up on every part of my body so i'll definitely advise you going for something really enriched like a butter cocoa butter or share butter or oil anything you want to use i don't think creams will really do it it can even dry up your skin so if you want that healthy glowy skin i'll advise you to go for some sort of butter also the other thing you want to do is scrub so during the winter i scrub like i scrub like two times a week but during the summer i scrub once a week and what i do is i dry brush as well so i do all of this in one day during so i pick a day in the week where i want to do like a full body a deep cleanse so usually it's like sunday for me so basically what i'll do is i'll dry brush my body for about 10 minutes and and after that i go into the shower cleanse my body after cleansing my body i then scrub I, i've got several scrubs that i use um but i want to try and go for the mouth the more mouth scrubs this summer because i don't want to irritate my skin i definitely want my skin to have a little bit of a break as well so after scrubbing my body i then shave so i shave every week some people especially black girls sometimes feel like if you haven't got hair on your body there's some point shaving but honestly i'm not really a hairy person where when you shave i can totally see the difference you know my body my legs look so smooth that my hands my arms they look so smooth and just silky and that is basically what the goal is it's not really to remove hair that you don't have do you know what i mean <laughs> trust me you will thank me about this this should be your perfect glow routine for your body do this once every week it will help you so much your skin will look so beautiful the thing i will obviously recommend is you if you want to get that natural glow now is the time to hydrate more than ever like it is summer places are hot you know you need to hydrate so if you're not a massive water drinker like i am I will advise you to get like a bottle, have a bottle everywhere you go, have a bottle in the car, have a bottle at home, have a bottle in the office, have a bottle everywhere you go, in your handbag, somewhere, because that what that would do is each time you set your eyes on your, your water bottle, you are reminded to take a sip or, or two, that's what I do, that would definitely help you with your water intake. Guys, let's talk about skincare. Another favorite topic of mine. Skincare for me is it's a it's an absolute must, okay? Especially because in the summer, sometimes you don't want to wear makeup. You want your face to be free because you swear, you know, you want to be able to wipe it without worrying about moving your makeup around my, my facial routine in the in the winter is definitely different from my facial routine in the summer remember that in the winter it is windy it's cloudy one moment is sunny one moment is cold the temperature changes all the time all of these things affect our skin which is why in the winter we tend to use products that are basically targeted at you know damage control from all these temperature changes especially if you live in the uk it can be snowing literally one minute and then the next minute is sunny your face goes through all of those changes so that's why in the winter we definitely try to use products that are basically more targeted towards like damage control 
but in the summer we want to let our face breathe a little bit okay i put a picture of my current skincare routine for summer less is more definitely in the summer i don't want to use too many products instead of using like a cleansing balm for example you might want to switch to use micellar water to remove your makeup so i use this makeup remover i believe it's like a korean brand it's a mousse cleanser makeup remover with rice it's very mild guys and it removes all of your makeup before i go in then with my cleanser so i use the cetaphil foaming cleanser guys this is the most gentle foaming cleanser i have ever used before we used to think that using foaming cleansers will basically dry your skin but i feel like a lot of the foaming cleansers that they do these days don't have that drying agent anymore. If you're looking for a foaming cleanser, I'll definitely advise this. It's very good if you've got oily skin. I'll exfoliate my face once a week and I use a really mild scrub. And the other thing I'll definitely advise you doing is using vitamin C. Vitamin C is a must like you can take vitamin c pills as well and obviously vitamin c serum is some it's an absolute must for me anyway and um, so vitamin c actually helps to eliminate any radical caused by the sun which then creates like you know spots hyperpigmentation all of the stains that we don't want to deal with take your vitamins guys you can take if you're someone that doesn't like swallowing pills you can get the chewy ones the chewy vitamins for you to just chew it's much easier i also advise you using obviously sunscreen you have to the higher the better i use spf 50 i get burned easily on my face so i do have to apply a lot of like sunscreen i use the bondi sands one and there's one from boost that i uh, i use as well is the brightening vitamin c sunscreen from boots not expensive at all and both of these both of these sunscreens are perfect under my makeup as well bonding sands is amazing it doesn't leave you any white cast it's very black girl friendly so let's talk about smell scent fragrance what do you want to smell like this summer do you want to smell rich do you want to smell like a boss babe do you want to smell pretty do you want to smell beautiful how do you want to smell this summer for me personally, I like to go for fragrances that capture the real essence of summer. I like going for more fruity, pretty smell, um, things that basically, things that are like give you like a summery vibe, things that are easy on the nose. So in my signature scents, I've got the Valentino, Bonnie Roma, Jimmy Choo. I've also fallen in love with the Versace fragrance, the Dylan Blue one. And I also use this one from, um, let me get them for you guys. Right, so this is the Dylan Blue one. I've fallen in love with this. It smells amazing. So the notes for this is green apple, peach, musk, floral. So yeah, you get the vibe guys. You. Mm. so this is the jimmy Choo one this is absolutely gorgeous i love this and my friend also uses this as well each time i use it on my body it reminds me of her <laughs> then this this is the one that has gotten me so many compliments like so this valentino bonnie roma it's so nice so nice and guys the other one is this one this is gorgeous this is a zara golden decay and they say this is a jeep for the ysl and i completely agree and guys when you mix these two together <laughs> heaven this one lasts longer in my opinion but also it smells a bit stronger than the others so that is why i like i like mixing this with this just to tone it down a little bit and the two together is amazing that is the end of this video i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you guys have enjoyed these tips that i've given to you guys today and um, thank you so much for those who watch and i will see you guys in my next video bye